Welcome to another episode of Learn Something. Today I'm going to teach you how to make an Instagram filter using Spark AR Studio, which is a software that was just released to the public a couple days ago by Facebook. And it's really cool. You don't need to be a programmer or a graphic designer to use it. And yeah, let's check it out. To build your Instagram filter, you're going to need a computer, a Facebook account, an Instagram account, the internet, a face, about 20 minutes of your time, a free subscription to this YouTube channel, and a like for this video. I made this filter for Amy Roiland, also known as a fashion nerd. She has a really cool style and she's one of my favorite bloggers and she made her own sunglasses designs. So I thought it would be nice to make a filter that will let anyone try them on. Let's make a filter. All right, um, just open, make sure you download it, your Spark AR Studio. It's free and all you need is a Facebook account. So sparkar.facebook.com. Once you open Spark AR Studio, you're gonna see a whole bunch of examples. Um, that's what I used to learn everything I know, so I encourage you to check them out. But let's create a project. So what's really cool is that you can test your filter with your own face. So I'm gonna go ahead and change here on video to the camera. And now I can get rid of this one. Okay, so the first thing I wanna do is I want to smooth my face. So I'm gonna go to focal distance, right click, add in face tracker, and I'm gonna add a face mesh. When face mesh is selected, I'm gonna add a material. I'm gonna rename it to smooth. And then on the drop down menu, a shader type, just select retouching. And you're done. You can just make it 100% super smooth or a little less. I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it at 25. Okay. Now let's add the glasses. Um, I also downloaded the Instagram filter samples that I showed you, and I'm gonna add a link to the description here so you can use those as well. And we're gonna use the glasses 3D object. I did modify it a little bit using Blender, which is another free software, 3D modeling software, because they were a little bit too wide for me. So I just made them a little bit narrower, but you can use the other ones, it's perfectly fine. So I'm gonna drag and drop those into my project. So it should look like this. Make sure you drag it into your face tracker, and now it looks like I'm wearing them, which is super cool. Now your glasses need a material, so select your glasses object and add a new material. Make sure it's flat. We don't need any we don't need them to be affected by lights or anything. And I lost the legs, so make sure you select double sided here. Okay. Now I'm gonna add the drawings I made of Amy's designs. And I drew them using just a photo editor. Um, you can make your own or, or you can also use the Instagram ones from their samples. And I made four designs and a blank one because I want the filter to have an option of not wearing any glasses. And I also drew a star. Okay, so I'm gonna add an asset from my computer and I'm gonna choose one of the designs. And when it opens and it's selected, you can go to type and select texture sequence. And now I can take all of the other designs with me. So two to five. Okay, now I'm going to add an animation sequence. This animation sequence, all you have to do is select that design sequence that we just created. And then on glasses material, we're going to select that animation sequence as a texture. And now I'm wearing all of them. So let's add some logic. Uh, go to view and show hide patch editor. When you select the animation sequence, you can, you can move your current frame into the patch editor by clicking that arrow, and there you go. Then you can also add the glasses object by dragging and dropping. So um, drag and drop your glasses, and I want that if you tap your glasses, you can change through the design. So all I did was you right click, and you search for tap. I'm gonna select object tap, and connect that to my glasses. And there's five of them, so I'm gonna look for a counter, and I'm gonna incre increment every time you tap through the animation sequence. So to test it, you can go to your emulator, to the hamburger, simulate touch, and then when you click on your glasses, they should change. Perfect. Well, but we're not quite done yet, because as you can see, the glasses are poking my eyes. That's not good. So we're gonna add another face mesh, and we're gonna move it all the way to the top. 
we're going to deselect the eyes and the mouth. What I'm creating is like some sort of a shield between the glasses and my face. Um, it's going to need a material, so let's create a new one. Clutter map. Okay, this occluder material should be flat. And uh, let's change the opacity to just 1%. We only need a little bit. Select double-sided and alpha test. And that's it. Now it looks like you're wearing your glasses, which is super cool. We're done with the glasses. Now I want to add like stars around me. To do that, go to focal distance, add a new particle system. Make sure it's out in the world. Okay. Then I'm going to change the position to negative 1.05. I'm going to add all of these to the description um, in case I go too fast. I'm going to change the emitter to ring. 2 to 7 radius. Birth rate 35. Oop. Spray angle 40. And 10. That's not 40. Uh, speed is too fast, so... warm up at 45 and that means that they're not going to start until after 45 seconds when you start the filter I'm on the bigger and I want them to live longer so I'm going to add 45 seconds 30 percent whoop and I want them to spin at negative 45 degrees until 10 and 15 so they all look different and now we just need to add some gravity. So under force, select acceleration. And instead of negative, because I don't want them to drop, I want them to go to float up. I'm going to get rid of the negative number, enter, and they should start floating up. Now, cool. Now I can add a material. Select so material, new material. And I'm going to select as a texture the star that I drew and I made it oh make sure it's flat I made it white because if I change my mind I can change the color here I can make it green if I want and change the opacity or whatever but if I had drew them purple I wouldn't be able to change the color here so I usually try to do white textures okay so let's go to we're done but I want them to be behind me so let's add a canvas and under canvas I'm going to add two rectangles I, one for the user and one for the background and then make sure the user size is filled the width and fill the height and so does the background fill width fill height and then they're both going to need a new material. And then um, go and head and select camera under scene. And next to texture extraction and segmentation, you're going to see plus signs, select those. What this did was it added two new textures to your textures, so you can use them now. Go to user material and select camera texture for your texture. Oh, make sure it's flat. And then for your alpha, select the person segmentation mask. Okay. Then for the background material, just select a color. I'm going to go ahead and select purple and change the opacity. And now we need layers. Next to the scene, there's a Layers tab. Select two more and rename them. And now you can assign your objects to different layers. So user is user, background is background, and emitter should also be background. So now you can see there's purple all around me, and I'm not purple anymore, which is great. But I can see the stars, so that means I need to do select user and background materials. Oh, select them. Go to advanced render options and deselect the right to death test. And now you can see the stars behind me. And if you really, really want to see them, you can go to background material and change the opacity. There you go. But I like the lighter. So we're done. I want to add instructions to it because I like user, a good user experience. 
um, go to Project, Edit Properties, and add Capabilities, and add a new one. Find Instructions, and then under Instructions, drop that, select Custom, drop that, and add a new one. Search for Tap, because that's what we're doing. Oh, this is perfect. Select Tap Your Eyes, Insert, and then copy this token, because we're going to use it. Then under device, select custom instructions so it goes to the patch editor. Select enabled and paste your token. Then I'm going to right click and search for runtime. And I'm going to add less than. Because what I want to do is that when, after five seconds of starting your filter, I want the instructions to go away. There we go. To test it, you can restart your filter, and then you go, so tap your eyes, and you're done. Now you can go through all the glasses, and you have stars, and instructions, and everything. If you want to test your filter on your phone, you just have to plug it to your computer and download the Spark AR app. Then, if you go down here, you can just send to your device, and it will open the app on its own, so you can test it which is super cool. To upload your filter to Instagram, all you have to do is go File, uh, Export, everything's fine, go Export, Save, and then it just prompts you to go straight to their hub. And since you logged into Facebook with this Spark AR stuff, it will take you to the right place. You don't have to do anything, you're already logged in. And what's great is that you can see all the other filters that you've already uploaded and they take about one day to two at most to approve your filter so it's and you can start playing with it so it's a lot of fun also um, just make sure you reserve some patience to uploading because you're gonna need to draw a new icon and also make a demo video I'm also gonna add a link to the description of the icon sample that they provide because that helped me a lot. It looks really nice. That icon is the one that you see below when you're going through the different filters. And that's it. JK, this is not the filter. That's the filter. Yeah. It looks so cool. It's like the same. this filter for Amy. This was a gift. It was her birthday. Spark AR came out. Perfect timing. And here's her reaction. Check out this filter Stephanie made. It's um, my glasses I designed. How crazy is this? They stay on pretty well too, huh? What other filter should I make? And for who? Let me know in the comments. Over to you, Teddy.